Hello, I'm Caroline from www.mathsinsider.com and today I'm going to talk about World Maths Day and how to register, sign in and play on World Maths Day, which this year is on the 1st of March 2011. So first of all, we need to click the register button. And when we click that, a pop-up window should come up and we type in our email address. So submit that. Okay, then you have to say whether you're a, a teacher uh, who wants to register the, their class or a student who wants to register in, uh, independently, individually, or a parent or part of the media or the government. Now, I'm going to choose the a parent registration, but it's a similar system for the other two options as well. So I'm going to select my country. Okay, and then submit. And then it's saying to go and check um, your email. It's giving you a username and password, but first of all, I have to go to my email to check to see, um, to confirm my account. Okay, I'm going to sign in, and I've got my username and my password, and then sign in. And this is where the fun starts. 1,465 people are online at the moment. Um, now I'm at GMT plus three and it's 10 o'clock at night um, and there's still a thousand, over a thousand students online. Now it's given me the rules, so let's just check out what the rules are. Each student is limited to a maximum of 100 games. Each game lasts 60 seconds. Um, this is the practice period at the moment, but World, on World Maths Day, that starts on the 1st of March, when it turns the 1st of March, I think in New Zealand first, and then carries on for the 48 hours um, that it's the 1st of March in any part of the world. So you're allowed a maximum of 100 games in that 48 hour period, and there are 20 games at each of the five levels. Prizes are awarded to students in each of the age categories, but unfortunately no prizes for the, for the uh, parents and teachers. And you, for the points, for each 60 second game, you get one point for each correct answer. Okay, so I'm going to start a game. 1,566 users online, so let's see if they can find uh, another parent or adult for me to play against. Okay, I've got someone from Argentina and someone from Canada. So let's see how I do. This is level one. Okay, doing this live. Um, okay. No. Out of the game. But someone actually beat me. I came second. Okay, and uh, Hugo from Argentina came first. Um, I scored 18 points. Now, could you see here, I'm classified as almost Einstein because I've been doing quite well so far. Um, you can also use um, your World Math Day registration to raise money. And this year the money is going to, to UNICEF. And with your registration, you can also take part in World Spelling Day. Now I'm going to show you quickly if I change my, click on my avatar, I can change it. So yes, I am a girl. And I can change um, face, change the skin colour. So many different things you can do to customise your avatar. The board is refreshed quite frequently. So you can see the leading students, the leading classes as well, and then leaders amongst the teachers and parents, and uh, the iPod leaders. So the World Maths Day game is available on the iPad and on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Um, although I think that's not a free app, you need to pay for that. It's $1.99 on the iPad. I definitely recommend you sign your child up. Even if your child's school isn't signed up, your child is going to love this. They're actually going to be really enthusiastic. Whether they love maths or hate maths, they're really going to get excited about competing with students all around the world. And that enthusiasm you know, could last for you know, weeks and months. So it's definitely worth uh, signing your child up for this and taking part in World Maths Day 2011 on the 1st of March. For more step-by-step -step guides, quick tips and practical advice to help you guide your child to math success, go to www.mathsinsider.com.